Hey everyone, it's Unearth Collectors here. We are opening up 16 more hanger boxes out of our case. This is the last of the series of the hanger box case. We have three other videos on this on our channel, so go check those out. But we are still looking for uh, a HFA or a heavy lumber or some kind of short print out of here, maybe a golden uh, mirror image variation or something of that nature. So definitely hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and let me know in the comments below are you done with series one are you done opening it or are you still buying it here and there um let me know your uh your thoughts on it and i think it's been a really fun rip but i believe this is pretty much all i'm going to be doing after this um so yeah it's been fun uh retail's been really fun again this year finally um last year it was a dud this year definitely a lot better so here's our first uh yellow suzuki so not bad and then an anthony rizzo behind that and then <clears throat> stars of the mlb so we got a bunch of those then we have a mike trout grand gamers you know i don't think i man if i pulled that one Ah, boy, I opened up a lot of the stuff in it. That one doesn't even look familiar, the Mike Trout, which is kind of crazy. You'd think that by now you'd pull all of these cards. And maybe I have, and I just skipped over it and didn't pay much attention to it. But, all right. Oh, hold on. Wait. Er, it breaks. This Ozzy Smith was in here. Um, all right. Almost left him out. All right. Let's see what is in box number two. That first box was a dud. Let's see if they can get any better than that. Hopefully a lot better. Um, yeah, so I don't know if the yellows really sell all that well. In my experience is they don't really. So that's you know kind of a bummer unless you get one of the best rookies, obviously. Then people are chasing that parallel. But um, here's a celebration of the kid. This is a very popular set. And then we have a <clears throat> Brandon Marsh. This is going to be a rainbow foil. And then we have... Um, Patrick Corbin yellow and Davis Snyder yellow Francisco Lindor on the 1989 so that was a little bit better and then some stars of the MLB and a 2023 greatest hits Mr. Tatis there and then a bunch of base and rookie cards in there all right already got a good stack you get like um what 55 roughly um, no, 50, I don't know if the, I don't know if the 59 cards, it must include all the cards, including stars of the MLB. So you get about 52, 50 cards, something like that, in there of, uh, base cards. So let's just say we got at least 100 base cards already. So, pretty crazy. Hanger boxes, I guess, are good for building sets, as long as the collation's good and you don't miss a bunch of cards. And speaking of sets, I do have some up on by uh, eBay store. So go check out uh, the link down below, Mike's eBay store, and you can buy yourself a set of Series 1 baseball. All right, here we have a Logan Webb, and behind that, a yellow of Rojas, and El Tuve. So that was another dud box. Wow, hopefully this <laughs> second half of the case isn't a complete wipeout. Um, and we got a bunch more base in there. Yeah, that would be not good. So usually you get something like a rainbow foil or something in there. And we've had two out of the three that have had one or two inserts. That's it. And, of course, the yellow parallel. So we're looking for more numbered stuff, uh, more rare stuff, anything we could pull out of here, out of this last portion of the case. Of course, it just takes one card, and that will do it. I think we got something white showing up here, so that could be a flipped over card. We got a royal blue, a Zach Wheeler, so another um, parallel. And then we have a Christopher Morrell rainbow foil. All right, that's not horrible. And then we have a American League leaders and then the Atlanta Braves team card. So, boy, those four were rough, very rough. And then a Shohei Otani. Yeah, those would be ones, if you bought them, you would be like, okay, that was fun. My four hangers, I'm done. Um, because didn't really get anything of note. And if the yellow sold really well, then that'd be a different story. But, you know, they don't really capture much attention, like I said. 
Um, so it looks like we have, I don't know what we have in here, something, but I thought, I thought I saw like a home run challenge card, but I don't think that was the case. All right. Let's see out of this box. If we can get a little bit better, we got a flipped over card, nothing of interest there. And we have another Royal Blue, so we got another parallel. We got a Eduardo Rodriguez, and oh, there we go. There's a nice one. All right, that's good. Jason Dominguez, yellow. I think that's the first yellow of Dominguez I pulled. I pulled an Aqua. I pulled a Royal Blue, and now a oh no, and I and I pulled a Meyer Purple. I'm not pulling much uh, Ellie, but I am pulling Dominguez. So, and I have high hopes for him um, when he comes back. That's actually quite well centered. It's not um, not bad at all. So let's uh, put that one in a top loader. We'll take that. That's pretty sweet. Then behind that is a Spencer Torkelson. So that that's good. That ups the uh, ups the value right there of these boxes. So Spencer Torkelson and more stars of the MLB. And then we have this sweet looking Royce Lewis insert. I like that photograph. Um, all right, so Heritage Hot, or not High Number, Heritage is coming out in April, and Luke is going to have uh, those, I think, on pre-sale on his website. So check out Up North Collectors, um, Sports Cards and More. There's a link down below for the store's website, and he'll be, I think he's going to be pre-selling boxes, and he is going to be competitive with or rather beating the prices of most of the competitors. So um, that's the goal. Uh, so take a look at the store. And if you want some um, heritage, definitely pick it up from him. Uh, fast shipping, good customer service, and great prices. So um, there's a home run challenge card. Josh, Josh Young, Luis, Robert, and Brent R uh, Rooker. <clears throat> All right, and we have a Yoshida, 1989, followed by Stars of the MLB. Oh, and if you buy a set uh, from me, uh, you get a bunch of Stars of the MLB in your, uh, in your box to help with the extra space that is in those 400-count boxes so the cards don't shift around. So, yeah, I throw Stars of the MLB in there because I don't know what to do with them. I don't really want to try to sell them. Uh, I got so many other things to try to sell that have more value that'd be more useful for my time. So I figured, why not pass it along to my customers? And it actually worked really well. I had one guy buy nine sets for me because he liked those stars of the MLB in there. Oh, okay. We got a uh, HFA coming up here. All right, let's go. Hopefully it is not... Okay, so just before we get to this H, uh, HFA, uh, the home field advantage card, I've pulled four or five, I think five of these Randy Rosarinas. So I'm, I like Randy, he's the GOAT, but do I want one more? I just want to see something different. Let's see who it is. It's going to be number seven. Oh, nice, Julio Rodriguez. Okay, I've pulled this one three times, so I won't complain about that. And that one's sharp, wow. All right, sweet, that's a good one. I love this card. I love, uh... Is it Mount Rainier in the background, I'm guessing? Rainier? Um, or, no, Hood's in Oregon. So, yeah, it has to be Rainier is, I think, the most well-known mountain in um, Washington. I could be mistaken, but let me know. Anybody who lives out in the Pacific Northwest, if you're watching, what mountain is that in the background? I'm guessing it's Rainier, but tell me in the comments below. All right, that is pretty sweet. So we got a Dominguez, and now we got a, a Kim in the Royal Blue, and then we got the HFA uh, Julio. So the only thing I'm disappointed in with that Julio is that I pulled him already a few times. I was hoping to pull somebody different because I just want to see some of the different looks of the cards. I'm not complaining, though. Don't get me wrong. Don't, in the comments, say, oh, you're complaining about pulling a Julio. No, I'm definitely not. Um, he, I'm very hopeful for him. I think 2022 cards are going to start shooting up, or at least sealed stuff is going to start shooting up. Because I have a good feeling Bobby Witt and Julio, Torkelson, some of these guys are just going to light it up from beginning to the end of the season. Not just have a second half, but have an entire good entirely good season 
All right, there's a Dominguez. I wonder if I passed by to Ellie. If I did, I apologize. So we have a gold. Let's hope this is a big gold. Let's see if this can be a really stellar end of the case. All right, Tatis, that's not bad. We'll take that. Um, that's not bad at all. And then behind that, we have a nice, a cold. Oh, sweet. That's a good one, too. That's number to 499, Colton Kowser. All right, this is now heating up. We're getting some sweet cards. Um, Moniak and Walker Bueller. And then we have this nice Andrew Abbott. I'm going to sleeve those other guys up in just a second. And then we have a Shohei Otani in the 2023. All right, so that round of four hangers, were, they were bangers in that one. All right, that's, that's what I like to see. I was getting a little bit depressed when... Um, the first four really produced nothing. And <clears throat> there we go. And then the Tatis we'll put in a sleeve too. And then, you know, I was thinking, wow, this is going to be bad. Because the last video I did, yikes, wasn't good. All right, let's see. We got, that was the first eight. So we're halfway through. Let's open up the next eight and see what we can pull out of these. Is there something else lurking down uh, in the depths of this case. 64 boxes in total in a case. Lots of cards and tons of base, obviously. So we're making sets with that base. Don't ever throw your base away. It's somebody will buy it. Somebody will take it. Kids will take it. Um, I understand if you don't like it, but yeah, just make sure you give it to somebody. All right, here we go. Celebration of the Kid. And Ryan O'Hearn, a rainbow foil. All right. And then we have a Jake Rogers and a J.P. Crawford and Mr. Robin Yount. Know, that brings me back to when I was a kid, watching him and Paul Molitor and Ted Simmons play on the Brewers. There's a Ichiro, the Grand Gamers. Yeah, back in the 80s. Good old days. All right, here we go into the next box. That box was solid. wasn't great, but it was solid. Uh, those last four were really good. Wow. All right, let's see if I can get this thing open here. I can't remember. I'm going to move these guys over a little bit because they're not being shown off now. There we go. All right, sorry. Had to, had to make sure they got in the spotlight. All right, yeah, the uh, back in the old days of the 80s, baseball, very different game back then, of course. Pitchers actually pitch full games. Very shocking to most modern-day watchers of baseball. All right, we have a, oh, there we go. That's a nice one, Jordan Westberg. And then we have a Justin Steele, rainbow foil. And then this one, Steele students of the game and then jake fraley i got tons of jake fraley yellows i think all right these stars of the mlb and then there he is speaking of bobby witt so let me know who do you think is going to have a monster season this year who's underperformed that definitely should be having a better year this year <clears throat> and will the orioles take the east if my Red Sox can't, I'm kind of rooting for the Orioles to do it. Uh, the Red, I mean, the Red Sox are definitely supposed to finish last, and I understand that. But you never know. They run on a little bit of a hot streak last year. Starting to give teams run for their money. Starting to scare people a little bit. That's always kind of fun to see. The spoiler team. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get. There's a Dominguez again. And I probably passed by an Ellie, and we got a gold in here. So let's pull an Ellie gold. Why not? No, Ryan Jeffers. Oh, I don't know anything about this guy. Then we have a Jordan <coughs> Alvarez Chrome, and then a CJ Abrams. And this is numbered to 999, so that's nice. C.J. Abrams, and then uh, Cabrian Hayes, and a Riley Green. So that was a really good pack. That was solid. And then more stars of the MLB, and a Bo Bichette. And who's that rookie? That guy. Um, Bo Bichette in the uh, blueprint card. All right. So 
last of that four right here. And then we have four more to go until we're, we're done. All right. So anybody going to an opening day game? And if you are, <clears throat> definitely drop it down in the comments below. I think Luke has an opportunity to go to opening Tigers game. At least he talked about it. And I think I was invited. So I don't know if that's going to happen. I may be out of town. I don't know. All right, let's see. We got something in here. Nice. Vladimir Guerrero relic. That's pretty sweet. We got other stuff, too. Look at this. Uh, Talion in the... Um, uh, yellow foil, and then we have a JJ Blade in the red, so that's nice to 199. And then we have a Christian Javier and a Nolan Arenado and a Matos. So I think he was having a good spring training, Matos was, um, and El Tuve. So more base. All right, that was a sweet pack. So definitely the last half of this case has been really good. Um, has it been utterly amazing? No, but it's been very good. All right, I got my dog wanting to come in. She didn't come in the beginning of the video. And so now she's saying, let me in the door. Hold on one second. All right, she's my um, video um co-producer uh, she doesn't do much but um she is definitely a moral support therapy a uh, card therapy dog very good dog actually so uh, but she likes to come in oh i got another relic that's crazy um i mean crazy as in weird to get another relic maybe this one's autograph maybe it's an autograph relic i don't think so it is, oh nice, O'Neill Cruz. So we got two decent names there. O'Neill Cruz, just, I don't think that's color. No, nope, just regular. And just check that Vladdy. There's nothing super special about that. Nope, all right. <clears throat> yeah, so wow, pretty good stuff. Then we have an Aaron Judge Chrome. Let's see, there's something else behind here. A Garcia numbered two. Oh my word, this is a nice card. Is this going to be pink? No, this is the 50. This is the uh, yellow crackle. Sweet. I thought maybe 50s are also uh, Father's Day and Mother's Day. So I was thinking maybe it was a Mother's Day um, or Father's Day. But that is sweet. Wow. Okay, so another really solid pack. Yeah. Man, hangers are definitely in the second part of the case, or this last portion of the case, really going strong. The first one, the first batch of 16 was pretty good. The second batch of 16 was okay. Third batch, not very good at all. And this batch is rock solid. So just remember that when you're going to the store to buy some. Um, yeah, out of 64, there could be 16 of them that are kind of duds. Um, now, that may not play out in every case, but I have a feeling that it's uh, not all that uncommon. And the way they stack them in, in the box, you can see, and I don't know what the stores get. They probably don't usually get a case. They just usually throw them in there loose because like, I've seen so many of those MJ holding boxes before. All right, we have a AJ Smith um, Schauber, a rainbow foil, and then Bernard and Volpe. Nice. Okay, cool. Then we have a Shumel. Shum well, uh, Shunel, I don't know, Shunel, however you say his name. Sorry, I just totally butchered it. R grill me in the comments down below. All right, so definitely rock solid last uh, 16 boxes. Totally think the hangers are the way to go. I was able to get these at 10, like maybe after tax and everything. I think it was like 10.40. A piece, 1020 a piece. I can't remember. <clears throat> it was something other 1050 though. So and that was with tax and shipping, handling, any, you know, any kind of fees they put on there. Um, so that was that was really good. This is from Card Giants. All right, let's see what we have here. This looks like a dud pack. Uh, Luis Arise, uh, Tavares, and Kyle Harrison. I cannot pull anything Ellie for the life of me, by the way. 
Um, I'm a Dominguez guy, I guess, which I'm not complaining. Um, Dominguez could definitely have a bigger upside than, than Ellie. Now, Ellie has all the tools, don't get me wrong, but Slugger in New York like that, man, if he lives up to the hype, will be really fun to watch. I hope both of them do really well. I hope all these young guys do well. It'll only be better for the game, for sure, and for the hobby. All right, I'll be ripping a bunch of Heritage, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to try to get some big leagues, so be opening that up um, on the channel. I think Luke will probably do the first box of that. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a Trent Grisham. And that's just going to be a rainbow foil. This is the last box, by the way. Jake Berger and nice, Ronald Acuna. So that wasn't bad. A nice Ronald Acuna there in the yellow. Always collectible. One of the best players in the game. And then Corbin Carroll stars the MLB. Grand Gamers of Mr. Frank Thomas. And that's it. So, all right. Let's look at some of the highlights here. We got... Uh, some rainbow foils. We got this nice um, Garcia number to 50. That's the yellow crackle. We got an Aaron Judge chrome. We got this JJ Blade red, a uh, yellow foil, Jameis Italian. We got a relic of O'Neill Cruz, a relic of Guerrero, CJ Abrams blue number to 999. We got a Jordan Alvarez chrome, Ryan Jeffers gold, Jordan Westberg. Uh, Royal Blue, uh, Justin Steele, Rainbow Foil, Ronald Hearn, Rainbow Foil, Kim, uh, Blue. Now, if you're trying to get Home Run Challenge cards, hangers are not really the greatest. Home Run Challenge, Eduardo Rodriguez, a Morel Rainbow, Zach Wheeler Blue, and Brandon Marsh. So that was pretty sweet. But then the real, uh, even the better cards, we got this Tatis Gold. We got the Kowser, number two, four ninety nine, The HFA. Uh, Julio, and last but not least, Mr. Uh, Jason Dominguez. So definitely had a very good uh, round of 16 boxes on that. And then we got a big stack of yellows, a huge stack of base, and a big stack of stars of the MLB, and another stack of inserts. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this case break. Um, we will see you in the next video. Take care, have fun collecting, and enjoy opening day as it comes up soon.